Even the most beautiful home in the most serene town can become a nightmare if you live next door to the wrong kind of people. And dealing with nasty neighbors can be enough to drive even the most peaceful person to the brink. Here's the best way to be a good neighbor and deal with a bad one. While you're on that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Ready? Let's begin with 1. Let the neighbors know what's happening. Your discomfort might be completely obvious to you, but if you haven't told them, chances are your neighbors don't even know they're being a bother. While you're sitting there stewing and getting ready to boil over, they're just going about their daily life. Don't assume that they're being intentionally rude. Just knock on the door, introduce yourself, and let them know what the issue is. 2. Only communicate in writing when necessary. If you have difficulty reaching your neighbors, you can leave a note or email expressing your wishes. However, this can be risky because the notes are easily misinterpreted as passive-aggressive messages. That said, if you can't get hold of your neighbors in person, sometimes leaving a note is the best option. Most people will feel a little embarrassed and immediately change their behavior to accommodate you. 3. Pick your battles. Don't give your neighbors a laundry list of problems you want them to address, it won't go over well. Figure out what you can live with and what must change, and only present your neighbors with problems that are driving you crazy. Once the main issues are solved, you can get to the smaller matters at a later date, or learn to live with them. Or offer to help out. Depending on what you're asking your neighbors to do, they might be more amenable if you offer to help them make it happen. For example, if you like a nice, neat yard and are tired of seeing their unkempt weeds all summer long, you could offer to help them get the yard back in shape. 5. Follow up either way. Give the neighbors a reasonable amount of time to fix the problem, perhaps a few days for minor tasks, or longer if you're asking for something time-consuming like fixing up their house's appearance. If they still haven't made an effort, return for a polite reminder. If they have, thank them, or even bring over a small gift of food, and they will be much happier about having to do it. 6. Get help from other neighbors. This is a good step to take if the bad neighbors show no signs of changing. If an issue is affecting you, chances are it's affecting everyone on the block or in the building. Talk with your other neighbors to find out if they're willing to sign a letter addressed to the neighbors at fault. There is strength in numbers, and being approached by an entire group instead of a single person could be what it takes to get the bad neighbors to change. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We post quality content daily. See you tomorrow and stay curious.